Hi everyone, I'm Joe Stevenson. Michael Hajazan. Michael is one of my purple belts. He's a, a killer over here at Cobra Kai. We're going to be working on our Darth series in application to the farce and a setup from the front headlock. First, I think it's important to start with side control and explain the application of the Darth to prevent somebody from recovering guard. Right now, I'm in perfect side control with my partner, turning his face. My lock is here. He's going to start to turn in and frame against my house, my face. When he pummels this underhook, it's as easy as grabbing the elbow and stepping over to mount. But right now, we're going to work on blocking him and applying the darts. So we're here again. He starts to turn in. I block him with my chest. So now he can't turn in. I'm keeping him at a, like... I do not want him at 90, I want him to break 90. I want him in the inside of a 90 degree angle. I want to keep him here. I want to block him chest to chest. And from him going flat, I'm gonna pull him in. So he can't go back. Go back, sir. I'm holding him in. Now, as he applies this underhook, he's gonna draw the line. I need to make sure that my arm comes over the top of his arm in a wizard position and blocks with my shoulder because I'm still driving into him on my toes. This hand elevates his head, grabbing the ear, and I shoot this hand as deep as it'll go. Now, I don't want to lock it up and try to choke him out from this position because his arm is across my body. His arm being across my body doesn't allow me to drop this shoulder into his carotid artery. So, it will prevent me from choking him and give him the ability to sweep me. In this position, as I elevate his face to my chest, I'm gonna sprawl my legs back to get his arm to pass through. And it's important to have this control here so that he can't raise his arm and get it out. I grab at the ear and I drop my shoulder in as deep as it'll go. You know you're about as close as you need to be if your thumb can go to the back side of the neck. You bring your leg, you don't just lock, you bring your leg to your lock to help you lock tighter. At this point, I'm gonna apply my elbow to the mat and all of my weight is driving down to my elbow. I'm on my toes, I'm not gonna sag, I'm gonna turn my hip and elevate up. As I do this, as I do this, all my weight is on my elbow, and I'm sagging down on his arm to his carotid artery. I release my bicep and make a fist, and I turn my hand up as this hand elevates up without coming off my elbow. So, one more time, at a, a semi-fast pace, staying at that angle right here. We're here, he frames and turns in. I block position, he shoots the underhook. I go to the wizard, sprawl my legs back, elevate the head, shoot the arm deep, bring the arm and my leg to my lock, post my elbow, come on my toes, cut my hip lightly, elevate up, sag the weight down. As I shove the blade of my wrist on the side of the neck. Hey everyone. We're going to now move into the farce. Um, the farce is a type of Dars choke by pulling guard. Very similar to an anaconda choke by pulling guard, except now I'm going to the far side and grabbing here. I'm going to compress with my elbow down. I feel like this move um, may work, and sometimes it doesn't work because you won't apply it correctly. You'll fall down for it without getting your arm deep enough. So let's go over how getting your arm deep enough is very important right here. He's down on all fours, guys. I'm gonna grab the side of his head and I'm gonna shoot my arm, not to the side of his neck, but underneath his armpit and up. When my thumb can go behind his neck, I know I'm as deep as I need to be. Now, as I'm here, I don't wanna lock up like this. I'm gonna step to my lock. 
So now that I have a stronger lock, I'm gonna walk my fingers up his back as I control this bicep. I'm gonna drive into my partner, and when he starts to drive back, we A-frame, I squat down like a catcher in baseball, falling down to lock my legs, keeping the guard, compressing my elbow down, and lifting up. Right. Yep. <laughs> this is called a farce because it is a far side darce. Um, not because it's a joke. If somebody puts this on you, it will hurt. So again, watch at the watch at my body and the angle of application. We're going here. Drop my shoulder underneath my partner's chest in through, by, via the armpit. Arm shoots far enough that the thumb is on the back of the neck. Now, I can control that with a gable grip by pinching my elbows together and I'm going to step up with my outside leg and bring my body to my lock, grabbing my bicep. It's important that I use my inside thigh to block his arm and now I'm going to drive in as he drives back. I fall back, locking my guard. As my guard is locked, I can press down on the head with my body and I push away with the legs. Or no, I, I kind of pull in with the legs actually to compress. It's not like an extension. Sorry about that guys. The farce, we're gonna use the setup of using a three quarter headlock or more commonly like Iowa stack position in wrestling if I were to be on um, referee's position on the backside of my partner. So he's down here. My arm is gonna shoot through via the armpit to the far side of the neck. But it's important that I drop my shoulder into the armpit and shoot my arm in front of his chest to get my arm as deep as possible. If my thumb can go on the back of the neck, I know I'm as far as I need to be, and, I'm at, I, and now I can continue with my move. I lock my hands into a gable grip, and I'm pinching my elbows together so he can't manipulate and get this arm out. I'm going to step up with my leg to grab my bicep. That allows me to apply a deeper lock. Driving into my opponent as he drives into me, I make sure my inside leg blocks his arm from coming across my body. This inside leg needs to stay in tight and block his arm. Now I'm gonna sit down like a catcher, lock my legs around my partner, compress my elbow down, elevate up. My legs crunch in. This is once again known as the farce. Awesome move, it's not, a, it's not like a joke, it's far side dark. Starting from an open front headlock, I'm controlling my opponent making him carry all my weight. I'm gonna go into the same position that I did for the farce, which is an Iowa stack or three quarter front headlock like position from referee's position, but now I'm going for my front headlock. The cool thing about that is once I attack my opponent and I have a different finish, but it's the same setup, the opponent may think, oh, he's doing this, he's already attempted this and be prepared to defend that. And then you attack with a different thing and their defense isn't prepared. And that's like combination grappling or combine, that this is a theory or a concept that you could take and apply right now to make your attacks better. In fighting, you, the straight, uh, the roundhouse looks a lot like the same as the back push kick, the back roundhouse and the back push kick. When you make them look the same like that, it allows your opponent not to be sure and confident what you're doing, so they're not fully able to defend or prepare for it. So, that being said, let's start with an open front head mark, Michael. I'm controlling the chin, the elbow, he's got a good base. I'm circling in one direction, and as he circles, I circle the other way. I want to step to the outside of the arm. As I drive to my knee, I control his head, and I shoot my arm underneath. Now I'm gonna swing and pivot back to my gable grip and lock. Here, my opponent may think that I'm going for the farce again. 
But at this time, I'm going to keep this lock, step up, drive my butt into his butt like a dinosaur. Make sure you're pinched with these elbows. We'll break him to his hip. Now, I'm blocking his chest with my shoulder. His face is elevated up to my chest. I shoot my arm in deep. I bring my other arm through and my leg. Grab my bicep. Go to my elbow. Stay on my toes. Cut my hip in. Drop my weight down. Release on my bicep. Angle my hand up. Elevate as I sag down. The dangerous thing about this is he thinks I'm going for a farce. But I'm not. And if he thinks I'm going for this, I'm going for the farce. Once again, good open for a headlock. I circle, he circles with, I step back, boom. Shooting the hand away, thumb away. Locked on my toes, bump. Elevate the head, shoot the arm in as deep as I can. Keeping it his arm across my chest and down. Bring my body to my lock, post my elbow, cut my hip and elevate up as I sag my weight down. 